It's been a long time since I've seen you, and I regret that. It's wonderful being here today and hearing all of these wonderful women reading your poems. It makes me miss you all the more. I've always loved how you can make writing seem really easy. The word choices that you use are just always the right ones. You've encouraged me in my writing um, by being supportive and by being critical as it's important to be. I remember giving you an outline for a memoir and it was very academic and awful. And <laughs> you were kind about it as, as you would be. I've brought you some lily whites. I hope that um, they'll brighten your, your window. And I also have a card. This picture just seemed right. It's, um, I think, a place like Half Dome, but it's not Half Dome. They're good. That's good. A little bit. And I wrote, Ruth, happy birthday to one who inspires us all to be better than we can imagine we can be. Much love, Nancy. And I'm really pretty nervous to read this poem of yours, but uh, someone mentioned it as a very sexy poem, and why not? <laughs> <laughs> black silk. Your black silk shirt through which my fingers caress your breast Revel in softness of silk. Discover round and firm circumference and radius. Navigate, explore the rising center. Your words add to this journal of being lost on a continent never touched before. We send back plant listings, sightings of forests, rivers, reports of fevers, disorientations. Your black silk shirt and my explorer's fingers scouting the silk of skin. In me rises a fire to match your flaming wanting. My fingers and my lips tease you into ecstasy. This continent we explore together. Our nerve ends send messages to minds we have forgotten. Waking to touch, to longing, to worlds unmapped until now. Two minds remembering silk. Very nice. Happy birthday, Ruth. Oh. Many more. Filmmakers. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Ruth. Happy birthday, and we'll follow the prior beautiful, sexy poem by the other silk series. <laughs> and thank you for giving us the opportunity to bring this all together, and we're going to enjoy your enjoyment of this video. How to wash a silk shirt. First you put it on over your naked body. Then you step into the shower, adjust the temperature of the water, take soap, rub the silk on the arms covering your arms, on the breast covering your breast, on the back covering your back. This last is tricky. For this you invite another into the shower. Let her wash the back that covers your back. Rinse well the shirt still on your body. Turn off the shower. Hang the shirt on a hanger, dripping wet over the shower head to dry. Kiss the woman naked next to you. Soap her just as you did your silk shirt. Her arms, her breasts, her back. Turn on the shower. Rinse well, turning her in your arms. Happy birthday. I'm not sure where to press it. Stayed red. Oh. Happy birthday, Ruth. It's Maggie. So, you know me, I always have to bring something homemade from my garden. So, here's some red currant jelly. And my bees have been very busy. Here's a nice jar of honey. And I wrote you a card. You know my love of the wild and the polar bears. 
So here's a guy frolicking in the snow, and I wrote, I can barely contain my joy for you in celebrating your 90th birthday. We've certainly had wonderful times together over the years. Hugs and love, Maggie. Mm -hmm. Well, everybody's been washing things, and it happens that I chose a poem that I thought was kind of hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> but it's about laundry, too. Three women do laundry with the help of one man. That's already funny. <laughs> <laughs> the Purex arrives on a bicycle. Two top knots bring baskets of clothes. Prop the door open, deposit clothes in washer, sprinkle in quarters, pull out the changer, leave. Come back with more laundry, more quarters, more Purex. They leave. Next, a basket of dirty clothes arrives on a bicycle, pink with small wheels, pendulant, resentful. That's all the clothes in one washer. No, no, got to separate light, starks colored. Bicycle leaves in a pink blur. Let him do it. <laughs> Good sense of humor, as always, Ruth. I miss you a lot, seeing you almost weekly like we used to. Um, yes, I'll come by, see you soon, maybe next week. All right, love you lots. Happy birthday again. Hi, happy birthday, Ruth. Haven't seen you for a while. And um, I kind of just didn't have much to say after I just wrote myself for years and years and years. And I went into drawing. That's what happened to me. And uh, then maybe I'll be able to draw for my poetry group. Sorry, now I have to wreck the <laughs> you glued it too well. And so here's a drawing that I did. Card, happy birthday, happy 90th birthday. The angels are dancing. Love, Sandy. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Beautiful. Can you zoom it in? Can Perfect. Beautiful. Okay. This rock I um, presented last year as a little special um, memento, and now I'm giving it to you uh, because when I moved up to the state of Washington, I just they had wonderful rocks on the beach, and I said, okay, there's just you know I've got drawers of rocks. I keep coming home with rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I have to limit myself. <laughs> so I just focused on heart-shaped rocks. Mm. So I'm not alone in that. But, you know, you start looking for them and you, you're really around. You can really see a lot of heart-shaped rocks. And this was one of my favorites. If I give it to you, you've earned it. Because <laughs> it was lace-shaped. It looks like a little frame. It's so yeah. cute. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. It's very That's for your 90th birthday. And now I'm going to read one of your poems. Um, this looks like a difficult one. <laughs> Walking Home, a found poem. I kick a silver metal circle off the road. Rochenberg would have made art of that, I think. Bend down, grasp the circle on my fingers, walk on. Maybe a picture frame, I think, maybe, or I shift the circle from hand to hand on this chill morning. A block later, Alliance Road, strewn with classical album sleeves, moldy, torn, bent, I walk on by. Think of Rauschenberg. He is his stuffed goat, his old rubber tire, the block he walked around. I stop, go back, begin picking up Chopin, Beethoven, Hummer, Mozart, Hide and handle Dvorak. Carry the sleeves to my studio. Clean off spider eggs. Fine particles of dirt. This morning, I am Rauschenberg. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday, Ruth. Love you. Ruth, <laughs> happy birthday. <coughs> Here's Lack. 
old cat. I am an old cat. <laughs> Romance is too dangerous. Dodging old shoes under the full moon with a stiff body. Not for me. Memories are all I have of her hands. If she comes to stay again, my heart will break. I hope you won't invite her. You must remember how I stopped eating, slept on her pillow after she left. How can love be so cruel? I begged her to take me with her. She scratched me under my chin, touched the tips of my ears, stroked my back from my head to my tail. She knows how I melt under her hands. But parting, parting, not to be touched again, how can I bear it? I am too old. Are you on? Ready? <laughs> Set. Go. Happy, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ruth.